What's up guys? I wanna start having more videos that are like tech type videos. And I figured what better way to start than to do an iPhone apps video that's geared around medical apps that I use. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna to be talking about the top apps on my phone that I use when I'm either at the hospital or working on clinical stuff or apps that I don't use as much anymore but were super helpful back in medical school or even for people who are pre-meds. So let's go. So the first app we're gonna talk about is Hippocrates. And we have to, because Hippocrates is like the OG of medical apps. Hippocrates was out there before the iPhone even existed, before smartphones were even a term, and actually even before flip phones existed. Hippocrates was this app that lived on devices like Palm Pilot, and it was really used as a drug lookup guide to begin with. So now there are all kinds of other features and it can be used as a way to keep up to date with the literature, but I still think Hippocrates shines best when it's used to look up drugs. So we're gonna dive into it right now and I'll show you some of the ways that we use it. So here is the, uh, like the main screen that loads up when you open Hippocrates. And if I type in, actually if I just click the button for drugs, boom, you see a list of categories. So let's say you're kind of browsing and you wanted to see drugs within a particular category, or maybe you're looking for treatment ideas, this is one way to start. So for instance, if I open this and go to gastrointestinal, I can see bowel preps. And this is something that's relevant for surgeons if we're about to do a colonoscopy or a bowel resection. And here we see all sorts of different protocols for bowel preps. Now, let's say you don't wanna browse, you just wanna type in some information about a drug that you're planning to give. I wanna show you the menu that that'll bring up for you. So let's say we wanted to look up Tylenol. We'll type in acetaminophen. It's already being suggested and I click that. And now going down from the top of the screen, we have all kinds of really useful information. So it starts off with telling you what the subclass of drug is. Then it has all sorts of different dosing options. So let's say you click adult dosing. It tells you for caps, for tablets, for suspension. It tells you the dosing based on different types of pain. It often breaks it down for renal dosing. And then let's say you wanted to go back and learn more about the adverse reactions. You can click here and it has them listed out. You can learn about the drug interactions by clicking here. And then you can learn about things like whether the drug is safe to use in pregnancy or not. So this is really incredibly useful when you're first starting out in the clinics, but also it's still useful whenever we prescribe a drug that we haven't used often and wanna double check things, or if we wanna double check the interactions. And one other cool perk that I like here is pill pictures. So let's say you're trying to show a patient what it might look like or a patient can't quite remember. You can use this pill pictures feature to pull it up. The next one we're gonna talk about is this app that I have loved for a long time. It's called Visible Body. So Visible Body is this like suite of all sorts of different apps. Some of them are specific to specific parts of the body, like just the eye. But the one I'm gonna show you right now is their Atlas. So what I love about this is it lets you add and take away layers of anatomy and it lets you do everything in three dimensions. So if you see here, you start off with a skeleton, right? And you can rotate that all the way around 360 degrees. You can sort of tilt it, you can zoom in, you can zoom out and you start with that initial layer and you can also move it, move it around like, you know, around the screen. But then what you can do is you can select particular layers to add or take away. So let's say I just want to look at the blood vessels and I want to look at the blood vessels in particular starting in the pelvis. I'll scroll all the way down to the pelvic circulation screen here. I'll tap that and boom, you've got the pelvic circulation. Now what's really cool is not just that you can see everything, but that you can move in and out in three dimensions and it really helps hammer home, not just the overall anatomy, but the positions in three dimensional space. When you click a vessel, when you click any structure, it gets highlighted in blue and it tells you on the screen what that structure is. So let's see here, I'm gonna click on IMA or inferior mesenteric artery and you can see that lighting up. You can click it again to unhighlight it. And then let's say you're trying to really eliminate everything other than like one structure you're looking at. Then as you highlight vessels, so this is SMA here, you can click the vessel and then you, you can click hide. You can click another vessel, you can click hide. 
or if I want to show them back again, I'll click show. And if I want to look at just one vessel, let's say I just want to look at this part of the aorta, I'll click that and I can click hide others. So this is useful for pre-meds who are like interested in learning about anatomy. It's definitely useful in medical school when you're taking anatomy. It's useful when you are a junior resident, whether you're in surgery or something else. And even at my level as a chief resident in surgery, just like a couple months away from being done all my training, I still find this app really useful. So this is definitely one of my favorites. The next app I'm gonna show you guys is an app called MD Calculator or MD Calc. Now, when we're in the clinic, we often need to calculate different scores to help make clinical decisions. So for instance, if a patient has signs of an acute kidney injury, the way we treat that depends on whether we think it's what we call a pre-renal, an intrinsic, or a post-renal injury. And one of the ways we do that and determine that is by calculating something called the FINA. So here, you have a calculator that lets you calculate the FINA right on the spot. So let's say the patient's sodium is 130, we'll click next. Let's say their creatinine is really high, it's three. Let's say their urine sodium is low at 50, and then let's say their urine creatinine is like, whatever, normal. We'll see that, boom, this is 2.3% telling us that it's an intrinsic kidney problem. So this is a really quick reference anytime you need to calculate any kind of scoring system or risk stratification system or anything like on the go in the hospital where you have to make a score, you can load up this calculator and it's usually in there. The next one I'm gonna show you is this really cool app called Touch Surgery. So I'm gonna load it up here. What Touch Surgery does is it teaches you procedures by showing you the key steps that each add up in sequence to create the full procedure. And it's designed to teach you how to do each of those steps within the app and then test to make sure that you know what those steps are. So I'll show you what I mean. If we click general surgery and let's say we go to, I'm gonna pick something that's kind of considered bread and butter general surgery, laparoscopic appendectomy. You can see here on the screen that there are these three phases of the surgery. So they want to teach you how to prepare the patient, how to access the abdomen, which you see is phase two here, and then phase three, how to actually remove the appendix. So we're going to click the learn button. And you see here on the screen, it's sort of directing you how to move through the procedure by telling you to swipe on the screen to get to the next step. So we're going to swipe. And there you see our laparoscopic graspers coming into the screen. Now it's telling you that the next step is to follow the tenia coli. And the way that you're going to do that in the app is you're gonna drag this over here. And as you do each of these steps, it kind of animates the surgery for you. So here, we're going to lift the appendix by moving this over here. We're gonna move this up here. And as you do each of these steps, you gradually watch the animation of the surgery happen and you are learning the key steps for the surgery. So again, this is useful across the board for all kinds of people. It's useful for people who aren't medical professionals that want to understand procedures, whether it's a procedure that you're having or that a loved one's having. It's useful for med students who are on rotations trying to understand procedures. And frankly, I think this is really useful for junior residents who might be scrubbing for the first or second time in a surgery that they haven't done before just to kind of refresh themselves on what they're going to be seeing when they're in the operating room. Guys, I had so much fun doing this. Let me know in the comment section below if there are any apps that you use that I didn't mention. And if you'd be interested in me doing like a general what's on my iPhone video. I've been kind of thinking about doing that, but I haven't decided for sure. I always say subscribe if you haven't yet, because seriously, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, subscribe below, come on, seriously. But I have a new favor to ask. Share this with at least one other person that you think might enjoy this. So that's it for now, and I'll see you guys in the next video.